want to see if they did if you tried doing like going in like high climax related areas or if you were like flying it'll end up becoming more like a flying type eb evolution i want to see what they do with a fucking flying type eb that'd be some shit it pro uh, i kind of image it with having like the fur would be like fluffy little clouds i want to see think... fucking rock type eb oh i envision one as like representation of diamonds it would Gorgeous. Maybe. For a flying type EV, I I'd like there them we to go. have like gotcha. I'd like them to have the little Hermes things on their legs. Yes, that would actually fit. That fit the aesthetic. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah. It would look really, really adorable like that. It's like leg wings. You could put legs on, not legs, wings on their backs. Maybe you can. Maybe you could even make their ears look like wings. Just everything is wings. That'd be adorable. What about if we're a bug type EV evolution? That would be exactly. weird looking. I want to see fucking bug type EV. That's my third. That after fucking dragon and steel, I want to see bug type. Mm. I'm I trying to remember. There's an actual species of moth that kind of resembles like almost like a little fox face. Okay, well, I'm first of all, if it, moth. first of all, if we're going for a bug type EV, I'm saying immediately extra set of legs, <laughs> and give it a more chitinous look. Like the shell there we go. So Give it an more extra of a skeleton. Three, right. Three eyes would also be a pretty good thing. Uh, what would Give what it would big old compound eyes. Fluffy. I mean, you could always you just are. base it off of a poodle moth. That'd be kind of neat. That's what I was talking. That's what I was talking about. Yeah. There, they actually yeah. exist. Poodle yeah. moth, yeah. I need to look this up. Hang on, let me send it to you. I can send it to you. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Are they like super fluffy type of moths? Shit. Yes. They're really wow, they're fluffy. really fluffy. Double shit. Yeah. They look like they're made out of fucking cotton balls. Yeah, yeah I mean, like, like one of your French God, little moths. How big does this drop? Like that this. That is so cool. Now, picture like that a, as a like TV. A, like a sheep. Picture that it's, as an it's just a evolution. moth sheep. Draw me now, like alternative moth. Now, 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 now fucking alternatively, and hear me out on this. Mm -hmm. Bug type EV based off of a rhino beetle. Mm. That would be interesting. And it ha and it has like the fucking it has like the, the rhino horn as like a fucking helmet. Ooh, that'd be that cool. cool. That'd be fucking dopey. That would look oh. actually really cool now that I think about it. Yeah, that's why I fucking said it. Um. Also, I love how me, I love how me, Solar, and um, Jesse all have bugs on the brain, and it's fairly obvious <laughs> as to why. Um. Also, mm. like another one would be a little tricky to figure out. It's like the uh, design idea for like a poison type EV evolution. I mean, not uh, really. No, you want you want a tricky one? Fucking fighting type Eevee. Riddle me that. <laughs> Put a bandage over its head. There you go. Have okay, some for, bandages over its paw, for over fight, its legs yeah. too. For a fighting type Eevee, I is like I pictured the whole like bandages around the limbs, some kind of cool looking headband. And having so a short tail. Just Ryu. And also having mm. a short tail. Give it a fucking Goku hairdo. <laughs> Goku. No. Yeah. No, don't actually do that. Please don't. Actually. Don't. Have it God, just please. be Ryu from Street Fighter. Hmm. No, even better. Have it based off of Vegeta. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, Vegeta. Jesus. I went there. I know. <laughs> what? What's next? You're gonna get a fucking mega evolution that Super Saiyan Vegeta. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, none of the evolutions have a mega evolution. None of them do, which is sad. Oh, I'd, lo I'd love to see one though. Uh, I'd, like to, see, I need to I'd like to figure that one out. It's like for no other reason than I'd like to see what they would do with it and what the changes would be. Oh god damn it! No, honestly. Hey, you I know what else doesn't have a fucking mega evolution? A uh, Flygon, and that makes me sad. I want a Flygon <laughs> mega evolution. I think I want a Flygon else. mega you evolution because everybody. fuck Garchomp. You and everybody else. I'm no mm. different. I've always wanted to see a Flygon Mega Evolution, but alas, that has never happened. Garchomp also, is that... apparent, 
Garchomp is just a uh, it's just a shark who had depression. He was so uh, uh, he was so desperate to get out of the water, uh, which I don't want him to be around. Uh, apparently, Garchomp can fly. Don't ask me how, but it can. How the fuck can he fly when I don't see anyone? On Hang him? on, let me let me find the fucking Pokedex entry. Isn't he can he fly by like he can fly. No, no, guys, he can fly by focusing his key. His what? His key. His key. DBZ Joe, EG. Uh, oh. Energy, energy, <laughs> wow, stuff. you're an idiot. Oh, oh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. The energy, the stuff uh, that makes the Kamehameha. All right, so fucking diamond, pearl, and platinum. When it folds up its body and extends its wings, apparently those are oh, wings, oh, not fins. Oh, it looks like a shit. jet plane. It flies at sonic speed. Pokemon Pearl. It flies at speed equal to a jet fighter plane. It never allows its prey to escape. I fucking hope not if it's that fucking fast. In Platinum, <laughs> it is said that when when one runs at high speed, its wings create blades of wind that can fa fell nearby trees. Jesus Christ. Its hey. body is covered in fine scales that reduce drag, enabling it to fly at high speeds. But it's supposed to be a land shark! How can it fly when it's Come supposed on, to be a land shark? It, it can no fly at speeds rivaling it. those of jet planes. It dives into flocks of bird Pokemon, gulps the entire flock down hull. My bang! Pokemon, yeah. sometimes you make no sense! You want, you want to know the weirdest Pokemon call I've ever heard in my life? What? Oh. This one. Mahina Pia! Oh, don't poke fun of my Luna bat! No, I'm not kidding. Lunala says that in the text. That's I'm what it says. Stop poking fun of her. And when I'm reading it, I've just like randomly said it. Mahina Pia! Don't poke fun of my Luna bat. <laughs> not my fault that they rolled it that way. Okay. Also, there's, there's actually a reason behind why they wrote it like that. Hang on, let me find it. Come on, move, move. Oh. Balsala is doing that. Back to the topic of the Eeveelution. Son of a bitch! I, I feel like a, I feel like a steel type Eevee would look really good as like an Eevee that has armor or like you know a different form of an Eevee, so it is actually evolved and it just has its own little suit of armor. Yeah, it, it would fit, especially if it was going to be the Eevee evolution for Sword and Shield. No! Oh, are you saying he'd be Iron Man? <laughs> no, no. Die. I mean like a, I mean like a knight. Like in the medieval times. I know. Yeah, like I can uh, totally see that because because um medieval times were very heavy in in the UK. Shit. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. Especially the especially the Scottish for some arbitrary reason. Especially the round table. <laughs> especially the round table of the noble knights. I really hope they use Pokemon based off of the King Arthur stories. If they don't, I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh no, there's there's bound to be a Pokemon named after Excalibur in some form. Mm -hmm. If if they don't, I will be so disappointed. Move, move. No! no. And if, and if they don't, I, if I really no hope that Sword and Shield just gets a third game and not Sword Shield, or not Sword 2 and Shield 2. Damn it. I'm gonna, <laughs> that's what right. I want. You know what's one? I, I want to see a Corgi Pokemon. If Sword and Shield Corgi. had a. If Sword and Shield had a Platinum equivalent, that's what I call the third games, by the way. If they had a Platinum yeah. equivalent, I feel like they'd go with Pokemon Bow or Come something. On. Move, move, Pokemon move. Lance. Yeah, yeah Pokemon um, Lance would probably make more sense. Pokemon Halberd. No, Lance damn or Bow, it. yeah. Yeah, who here wants to see a Corgi Pokemon? A Corgi Pokemon! That would be so <laughs> adorable. If I see one, I'm going to catch it. It's still, yeah, that would be so fucking adorable. If there's going to be a steel type Eevee, then it bet is like, I feel like the aesthetic would be an Eevee with armor of Good some catch. medieval description. Because it yeah. Would look nice. I remember there was a, there was a, a fake Eevee that was basically Fuck, exactly yeah. that, and people fucking went crazy over it because it looked cool as shit. Yeah, I think I saw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find it actually. Here yeah. we go. Also, I bring the, I bring this one up because I'm very hopeful about things, and honestly, I just like the idea of certain things put into practice because they could lead to something really, really good if executed correctly. 
Pokemon fusions. Yes. That's and... already a thing. Oh, really? Well, Kyrim Black, Kyrim. Kyrim White, Necrozma, Ultra Necrozma. Yep. Now, oh god, here's a oh. really interesting. Here's a really interesting Pokemon design I found. That, mind you, this is mind you, this is fan made, and and this is from a and this is from a a fan made Pokemon game. But somebody created, yeah, a ghost type horse Pokemon. Ooh, is it Meet, horse? meet Coltergeist. Coltergeist. Oh. Oh, I love it! What? It looks super cute. But its evolution is badass. Oh, I must see him. So, let, let me guess. This thing evolves into essentially nightmare. Yeah. Fantas Phantasmare. Hello. I like I it. I Hi, I'm back. I haven't seen you since the Soul Can when that guy really, really wanted me to fucking find you. Hell. <laughs> this is one of the fucking horses of the apocalypse. Not the horsemen. This is the horse that the horseman rides on. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is death. Fan made, but these are horse. really well made. Oh god. Yeah, that's what fucking... I was thinking too. Solar, Red Dead Redemption all over again. I here. remember that fucking Red Dead Redemption online and how you could fucking or the Red Dead Redemption fucking zombie nightmare and you could get the horses of the apocalypse. Yeah. My favorite one was war, just because you could fucking run around and set people on fire is hilarious. We need more horse Pokemon. We do have we do have Bloodsteel and and the Rabidash and Ponyta. But yeah, I know yeah. I know about the whole like Kyrim thing. But like I mean under certain circumstances and with like certain Pokemon, so it doesn't become a really complicated mess of oh, let's see which one does with which, and you don't get fucking Eldritch mutants from the darkest right, bits so of hell. What is that one? This is just like Zetametroid. So just, how does one take on a Zetametroid? It's like you can have fusions of fairly basic Pokemon that can make up for both of their shortcomings by gaining more power and abilities that they couldn't have. It's called Slow Bro. Yeah. Okay, this is pretty much what. I found as like that was considered a quote unquote leak. But many people have confirmed this is a fake. These are fake. Well, yeah. Yeah. Until the fucking game comes out, I'm going to take everything that I see with a grain of salt, including yeah, the shit that I just so, Yeah. But One of the things. Just so that... not blindside, I, I looked at it. Yeah. Two of the things that really give it away for me is the, the fucking steel type one here, or rock type or whatever it is. That head is clearly just a Pikachu's head. <laughs> and that confidential thing, I don't know if Japanese use English when saying confidential. I'm gonna be honest. They do. Oh, never mind. I guess I've just got to fuck be myself. like directly in, like, in its face. There is a. There are a few like actual concept pictures that do have that on their side. Yeah. That is a from originally in Japan, so it does. That's why it seems convincing, but I knew from the beginning, I knew really quickly it was fake, because I recognized yeah. these two Pokemon. I recognize yeah. these two fake mon, sadly. I, I fucking, I'm really hoping that the rumor about fucking armored evolutions becomes true, just so we I can have- I hope so too! What? And I really hope. Similar to yeah, steel? no. I heard that fucking sword and shield was supposedly like All right, so it to freeze them. Supposedly, as kind of like their fucking take on Mega Evolution, because we have Mega Evolutions, then we had Z moves, and now supposedly what they're going with now is Armor Evolutions for the whole sword and shield. Oh, thing. Armor Evolution. Okay. And I really fucking hope they do, because God, that sounds cool as shit. And supposedly, I think if, I remember right. if this is a thing, supposedly they've also said that Flygon is going to be getting some attention yeah. because uh, everybody fucking was complaining about no Mega Flygon. But if yeah, we get Armored Flygon, oh, that Just makes me were... fucking rock hard. Yeah, they also said, like, along with that, that uh, along with uh, Flygon, Mewtwo was the armor that they introduced in the actual first movie is get going to be his armor. Here. Oh, oh, that makes me, that makes me fucking Fuck happy. Yeah, yeah if they make that canon, if they do make that, a, if it is true, I'm really hoping and crossing my fingers so much that it is true, because that would make it so awesome of an idea. No, 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 no. 
I'm yeah, still, plus, that, like, plus that would be their unique gimmick that they've got going for them that, you know, sets them apart from the rest. Yeah. It like, also hey, definitely you could, it fits like, you, well. Yeah, it's like, hey, you can now make your Pokemon look like they were actually built to fucking slay one another. Yeah. Instead of throwing the adorable bunny rabbit and the adorable mouse at each other and seeing which one dies first. <laughs> now they actually look combat ready. Oh my god, here it is. Apart from the ones that are basically god Come <laughs> um, to Papa. I got the fucking <laughs> screw attack. What's now, Ouija? <laughs> Oh my god, I found this! I, I was just looking up Lunana and all of a sudden I came across this picture. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so crazy! Mahina <laughs> Mia! The thing is, like, the thing I was talking about before, I meant basic Pokemon that fit together. Like, you could have a Plusle and Mine infusion. Oh. I'm saving this one. Or, away. like, um... <laughs> what else works together? A Latios and Latias fusion. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing that. Like, po like Pokemon that in one way or another fit together, or would work together, whether or not they were built in pairs or not. You could have Slow, a bro. Check this one out. Yeah. This one actually looks really good. <laughs> yeah, that was the other one that was connected to, to Guardian. I'm pretty oh, sure both of those library, are fake. Oh, God, does it look fucking cool. They're probably it both fake, convincing. but if they're not, then holy shit. Be I like the name they used. I like the name for this one. Weavion? Yeah, like Wyvern. Hey, yeah, it's based on the Wyvern. Yep, the most well- one of the few well-known species types of the species of dragon, which I personally enjoy. And this so fits. <laughs> Wyverns are the dragons that feature in Skyrim. Or at least yep. that is what most matches are the description. I'm not sure- They're most- they're also most common in all forms of mythology, actually. Especially in the UK. You can tell it's a wyvern because it has two legs and two wings, not four legs and two wings. Yep. I don't think anyone's gonna agree with me with this, but I kind of miss the Pokéthon eh, eh, games on on Harkel and Soul Silver. Eh. It was kind of fun because it, it was pretty good to. I didn't eh, know it. I fucking miss. I miss having my fucking Pokemon actually follow me around. It was a pretty good right? visual yeah, cool. with that. So yeah. why the fuck did they get rid of that in Sun and Moon? Like, after they had the animations already fucking done? Like, why? Oh, what, what reason did they have to fucking not do it at that point? Yeah, it, wasn't even like it, was, it wasn't even like fucking doing all the animations would have been too hard because they were already fucking done. You can sit there and look at them. They'll be more adorable for mm. following you. Do, 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 do. Yeah. I just want my fucking Sceptile to be following me. God, that's all I want. I, I can't believe Soma just stayed 10 hours watching and listening to, to the Furret Walking meme. <laughs> 10 oh, hours. The Furret Walk is just such a such a hell. delightful meme. It's so there's wholesome. A ten, there's a 10 hour version of that. <laughs> I'm well aware it's a fucking meme. Every fucking meme has a 10 hour, 12 hour, 24 hour, 97 hour fucking version. I'm not it's surprised. <laughs> Fucking the B movie got a meme that lasts longer than any human being can live. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah. Fucking, I just re like I just really like the idea of fusions in general, let alone fusions of just basic Pokemon. In case you need a le an extra on, slot in your team on. and you also want to, you know, beef yourself up for that one percent you need to progress. I hope they. I hope they still keep the um, uh, the personal PC. Where are you? In, in uh, Sword and Shield, like you know when uh, yeah. Let's Go Pikachu that you can now switch Pokemon on oh, the go, uh -huh. and not going and not going to a Pokemon Center. I really like that. Mm. Yeah, seriously. Like for me personally, a cool little idea for a. Pokemon Fusion would be Vaporeon and Flareon, Damn it. just to get a Steam Eevee. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. You know what yeah, I but with Volcanion, that's probably not gonna happen, because if you get a fucking lesser version, what's the point of taking up a legendary slot? Eh. Hmm. But you know what I hope they make more of? I'm prob I doubt they will. Um, more snake-themed Pokemon that aren't poison types. Oh, I actually came up with this one idea. Like, I want to see. 
I do want to see a grass type. I do want to see a grass type uh, snake. I feel like. Another grass snake. Oh, did you mean superior? Oh wait, derp. Eh, I'm, you I'm fucking, fucking idiot. <laughs> there we go. No, <laughs> hang on. I meant to say. I meant to say a a water type uh, snake. Derp. I feel like the reason. Supposedly, supposedly in Sun and Moon, we're supposed to be getting a grass type pseudo legend, and uh, I'm like, all right, you know what? That's cool. Grass types need more love. Yeah. You know what else needs more love? Fucking dragon types and rock types. Agreed. <laughs> dragon, like, fucking... First off, there's pretty much no point to using dragon types anymore. Because the only thing dragon types are good at are is taking out other dragons. So there's no point to having a fucking dragon type. Because A, they ha there's fairy types now, which just laugh at dragons because dragon type moves don't do fucking jack shit to them. <laughs> And uh, there's fucking ice types. So there's literally no point to having a dragon type on your team. People are like, oh, but there's a, they got a bunch of fucking resistances. They resist fucking fire, yeah, electricity, yeah, and fucking grass, I think. Let's see. Start. Which is not all that impressive. Let's if you have a well-balanced team, you should have something that should deal with those anyways. Let's yeah. see. And considering um, every fucking competitive team nowadays has a fairy type, there's no point to having a dragon type. So unless they come up with a new type that dragons can fucking fight, there's there's no point to having a dragon type anymore. The starters have what uh, types are good against fairy types? Uh, and steel and poison. And poison. Oh, okay. Which the is really funny good. because I like to fucking. It, it's really funny because a lot of people like to send out a little nine tails at me, and I just sit there and laugh and send in my agron <laughs> <laughs> because a uh, quad effective Lamau. Ice and, fairy, uh, ice and fairy versus steel type. Yeah, good fucking luck. <laughs> good luck getting past his bulk, too. This game was a lot I was thinking of another one that actually... Fucking bo is like, actually bulwark's exciting. coming along and he's coming to fuck your shit up. Precisely. Damn, where is she? There's another one that I use that goes against uh, Alolan Ninetales. Hang on, I gotta find her. I gotta remember her name. Hang on a second. Also, what was that reason for making oh, yeah. fairy type? Oh, yeah. So Lazzle. Duh. So Lazzle is basically the Pokemon I use against uh, Alolan Ninetales. Bulwark still laughs at Salazzle because Earthquake. <sighs> Goodbye. That, right. that is quad it, effective against uh, quad that, effective against fire and poison. So that is if you are not fighting Alolan Ninetales. I was talking about it when I fight Alolan Ninetales. Good God. Yeah, but. Still, you might as well deal with- you might as well go for the steel type for the quad effectiveness.